Yo, what's up everybody? It's the Legend of W here and I'm back in Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain in episode 6. Where do the bees sleep? Now, this mission uh took me a while cuz uh I was like at, at the very beginning, I'm like very very far away from the objective, so it was like a long trick, so I'm going to edit a lot of stuff in this video. So Unfortunately, the Soviets are looking for the weapon as well. You have to get to it before they do, and bring it back here. There's a photo of the target on your eye droid. One more thing. Apparently, one of the Hamid fighters survived. He's missing, but if you can find him, he might lead us to the target. Good luck, boss. Alright, so yeah, uh, while I was talking, I got interrupted by Kaz. Now, um, he that's basically the mission. So, I mean, I'm just fast forwarding a little bit on the process. I had to go through this this crazy area over here where there's like a bridge. Uh, there's a whole lot of guards, and I just had to. Right, so there was a, a prisoner, and I think that was like a, a one of the tasks that I believe I didn't complete. Uh, so I just kept moving. I had to travel a lot, so I was going through night and day like several times. Maybe because I was taking my time. Oh yeah. Yeah, th there was a, a gunship. I saw it for the first time, and I thought to myself, "Damn, man, that gunship! It looks pretty terrifying from where I'm at." So I was just like, "Yo, I have to hide. I have to kind of chill out and and not, you know, let this thing find me." So. I took my time, you know, taking out the guards, and, you know, I just hit right under the helicopter right there, as you can see. Um, I tried to be very stealthy in this matchup. Uh, so far, during the whole course, I was doing uh, pretty good, even though I did uh, get caught a couple times with the reflex, um, but no alarms at this point. So here we are in the giant camp, uh, and going in a little bit forward, taking out some guards, I'm inside... Uh, this small, uh, I would say, temple or cave. And uh, I was, you know, one by one just taking out the guards as much as I can. So I had to do a lot of resupplying, uh, which costed me a, a bit of the of GMP. So, uh, yeah, I, I kind of wish that I didn't do that. But uh, then again, I wasn't really wasting so much GMP, like, you know, to the point where I was broke. But, yeah, right here there were a whole bunch of guards. And I was trying to take them one by one. I missed the headshot. So I caught him right there with the reflex. Got this one. And then there was a third one all the way at the end. And, and then I thought, wait a minute, he didn't see me. But then I noticed that, yeah, somebody was right behind me. I was like, okay, great. So, yeah, things weren't going so smooth when I was going in there. Uh, fast forwarding again, going closer to the honeybee uh, that I'm supposed to catch. Uh, you know, three guards were pretty much guarding the honeybee, and so I just threw a smoke grenade. Decided, okay, let me just be a little bit quiet because one of the other guards didn't uh, get caught by it. So if I made any noise, you know, he would have definitely try to, you know, come in and try to shoot me, and the alarm would sound off. So I just took out these two guards, and I decided to take it a little bit slow because this guy was just chilling next to the wall. So I was like, okay, you know, let me just. Uh, try to see what I can do. So I decided to use a smoke grenade uh, once again uh, against this guy specifically. And since he didn't have enough space to move around, I just went in and I, you know, took him out. As you can see, I, of course, always very important, I, you know, for to get your heroism up. Always like try to catch them, ask them questions, interrogate them, and you get like plus five points for each. And of course, the takedowns are really important for the score, too, uh, in each mission. So it's always recommended to uh, do some takedowns. So I literally understood that I'm not supposed to use the honeybee. So uh, in this gameplay, I didn't use the honeybee at all. Oh, and here we go in the cutscene. Check it out.
Yo, what the fuck was that? <laughs> nah, I knew it was Psychomancers. This is actually pretty weird. It... Whoa, yeah. This was the weird part. I was like, what the hell just grabbed me? Yeah, I was weirded out. Right here, this was pretty interesting. I thought I was standing, but I'm not. I'm actually upside down. I'm like, how the fuck did I get trapped? What's going on? Ooh. Yeah, things were very uh, foggy. Oh, and, and here's Skullface coming in. You look well rested, big boss. The detail's My, awesome. How you've changed. You became a demon for such little weapons as that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Make his grand entrance in the... <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll see the bigger picture eventually. Mm, yeah. Oh, hey, Spider-Man reference. Are we gonna kiss? <laughs> Wait, that's not nice. If you get out of here alive. If you had makeup to Skullface, he actually kind of looks like the Joker. Anybody agree? Rest in peace this time. I'll see you in hell, boss. Oh yeah, things got a little bit intense over here. I was like, yo, what the hell's going on? I'm like, what is that thing? Am I gonna fight it? What the hell was that thing? Yeah, that's what I, I That that's what I just asked. Yeah, so I was a little strange at first and, and I kinda figured this would be um uh what is it? Uh Metal Gear Sahalanthropus? And I think it was. Oh boy, and then here come my best friends, the skulls. Ugh, I hate those guys. They look very happy to see me. Ugh. Oh yeah, check them out. Oh boy. Yeah, so right here, um, I didn't realize that this was a battle. I thought that they didn't see me and I was going to try to hide, but they definitely saw me. So, even though Ocelot told me, let's see, you know, what the honeybee can do, I actually decided not to use the honeybee because I thought uh, maybe I could go less lethal. Because I didn't even know, you know... The potential of the skulls like you know can i beat them you know with the tranquilizer and i realized that that wasn't really gonna happen at all so i decided to run i was just like damn man these guys look you know pretty dangerous and they're about like four of them and uh yeah so I, right here i was just noticing you know a lot of these soldiers were kind of possessed you know at, at least that was my reaction the first time i felt like they were possessed i try to hide away from them but these guys kind of just knew where I was all the freaking time so I was just like yeah it's, it's too dangerous they're shooting me I'm almost dead I, I have my night vision goggles still on these guys were just all over the place and I figured yo I just gotta escape I, I don't think I should use the honey because I wanted to you know complete some tasks and I figured that maybe one of the tasks uh you know that I needed to complete was not really use the honey bee at all so I decided just to escape I called in D horse uh, as soon as possible and I thought I was really gonna die and had to you know return by checkpoint But I managed to escape actually these guys were running after me I figured they were gonna run after me for a long time, but 
I actually succeeded in getting out of there and they stopped following me. Uh, around here. Yeah. Yeah, so pretty much that was it. So I ran out and uh, I, I think I called in the chopper. And of course the chopper was just waiting for me. Uh, that's all I really had to do in this mission. Yeah, so time to go. You know, pretty much that was it. Uh, overall, I would say the mission uh, was a bit... Uh, it, it took a little long because I was so far away from the objective. Uh, other than that, uh, I, I mean, I got really accustomed to checking out new places from Afghanistan because this place is huge, huge. So, uh, riding with D-Horse was actually very helpful. Uh, and obviously, uh, I still can't uh, access any of the other buddies yet, so D-Horse was the only option. Of course, I got the Beekeeper trophy. Um, I believe that's one of the story uh, trophies in the game. <laughs> All right, so yeah, my result was an A rank. I actually was a little bit pissed because I thought that I was going to get uh, a, a worse grade because I felt like I did very bad in this um, in this actual gameplay, but I did pretty good. So if you look at the bonus, it says I secured the Honey Bee with its ammunition intact. So it, in fact, is, uh, I believe it's one of the tasks. Uh, I would have to double check that but i did receive a lot of points for that so if i actually did good with uh no reflex and uh i wasn't so bad at getting at taking so many hits uh and maybe if my accuracy was a little bit higher i would have you know probably gotten an s rank but hey this is just my gameplay so i don't really mind any of that so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video for today give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe for more I'm going to see you guys in the next chapter. Peace.